if if I get the name wrong, but it's Kennedy. Uh, I think it's ZGQ um, <laughs> against Carlos Ulberg. Interesting matchup considering Kennedy. I believe he's only had one loss in the UFC so far. Mm-hmm. Carlos Ulberg, you know, he's this is his professional debut at light heavyweight. First round competitive fight. Uh, onslaught of punches versus Ulberg. Looked like he possibly blew his wad in the first round, though, because in the second round, he was gassed. Second round, gassed. And uh, the amount of output he put out in the first round, it had to have been a deficit for him in the second round because even in terms of his movement back and forth, his foot movement, it just wasn't there. The only thing that was survive that was that was working so far was his in the second round was his head movement. He was moving his head very very well, but he then moved his head in the wrong direction. He moved his head in the wrong direction, which set up a beautiful right. It was a, in between a right cross and a right hook from Kennedy, dropped him on his head, and just did a little bit of ground and pound, and that was it. Had to wave it off. Mm-hmm. Um, under, I did not th- uh, now I don't think this is a question in Orberg's chin. You know, he's had a lot of kickboxing fights and he's had a lot of experience. However, he's came into the UFC with not a whole lot of experience, right? Not a whole lot of mixed martial arts experience. Kennedy certainly outweighed him in that kind of experience, I would say, in terms of quality as well, since he's already in the UFC. A lot of people were expecting Kennedy to get walked over by Carlos Olberg because he's got a lot of hype, comes from City Kickboxing, there's Kai Kara France, there's Israel Adesanya. It looks like it's going to be a clean sweep for everyone in City Kickboxing. But except Olberg was, um, he was knocked out and it was it was very surprising. And I went to look on his social media to see if there was anything. Olberg didn't make a statement, he didn't say anything, but he did put a post up saying, you know, well done to Kai, who was, ce- who was celebrating his teammates' yes. um, win. But... It just didn't go Carlos's way. No. I would like to see perhaps that he's given a better matchup because let's be real, it wasn't that easy. Like they were, ex- they were expecting Allberg to have a, a ton of hype, right? Mm-hmm. An enormous amount of hype because this car, uh, because this city, city kickboxing is just becoming more and more known. Yes. And he's had a few wins under his belt. I'm pretty sure Carlos had a winning streak coming into this fight. Yes. Yeah. Um, but but let's be real. Like Kennedy came from Dana White's contender series. You know, he's he's fought in the contender series. Um, he's had two f- UFC fights prior to Carlos Olberg, already on a one fight win streak. His only loss in the UFC has been against Paul Craig, and Paul Craig is in already in the top fifteen and already gone two fights against um, uh, Antonio Ruggiero uh, Nogueira. Sorry, no, it wasn't. Shogun Hua, sorry. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just because those two names are like linked together yep. forever. Um, but that's no slouch to lose to. You know, his first fight in the UFC was against Paul Craig. Really, really good grappler. And he was submitted, right, in the, in the, first, in the third round, right? Has so much more experience than Olberg. Um, I actually just want to have a quick look because I... Uh, at Allberg's experience, yeah, he, w- he was three and zero before getting signed with the UFC. Mm-hmm. That's so, such a short bit of experience, right? Yes, he won in Dana White's Contender Series. If you don't include Dana White's Contender Series, he was two and zero. Very little experience. Um, also, considering his first MMA fight was in two thousand eleven, right at, at King of the Door. His first fight was at King of the Door. 2018, seven years later, his second MMA, pro MMA win. Then his third win was uh, in the Contender Series. He signed up to the UFC. They give a guy who's already on a one-fight win streak, already had three fights in the U- in the, in the the UFC, and he loses. Mm. They haven't set up Carlos Allberg up for a great fight, right? Even though he has a ton of hype around him, it was certainly a test and it, it, it just didn't pay off, yeah, didn't right? Pay off. He got caught. I think the main issue with Allberg was two issues. Allberg is trying to learn grappling at 30 years old 
when he's clearly at a really good kickboxer, but he's found grappling very late. Two, he's a light heavyweight, big light heavyweight, right? He, he could probably move down to middleweight if he wanted, but there's a little bit of a clash with if he's going to fight Israel Asanya, which is probably why he's not at middleweight. Mm. Conditioning. He does not have the conditioning to fight at light heavyweight at the moment. Yeah. To fight against someone with, uh, uh, like Kennedy, he didn't have the conditioning. You know, you can't you can't gas out in the second round. Imagine if he's in a five fight. You know, you know they're, they're, I think a lot of people were betting on Orberg to be a new star since he's 30, you know, um, I think he was an ex-model, you know, he's he's got a lot of star power, a lot of s- star quality that they could, you know, manipulate into a huge star, right? Especially with, especially with the city kickboxing stuff. He just doesn't have the conditioning, you know? I think he is a huge star, and I think he will be a huge MMA star, but my criticism is that he's found grappling a bit too late, and he needs to, like, quickly <laughs> increase the grappling. Yep. I think he's incredibly athletically talented. He's got power, right? Mm. The kickboxing is not an issue. He's got so much experience kickboxing-wise. It's conditioning. He doesn't have the conditioning, you know? It really doesn't. But power he'll have. With four-ounce gloves, he's going to be knocking out motherfuckers. Yeah. But uh, conditioning is his major, major issue. I think if he fixes conditioning and kind of fills the hole with grappling, he'll be a massive star for sure. Mm-hmm. Huge star. Um, last one today because we've, we've had a long podcast yeah, actually a, it's been a good long episode uh, Leon Edwards is fighting next week finally when was the last time Leon Edwards fought by the way oh good spend, spend some time spend some time this was originally meant to be the Hamzat Shemaev versus Leon Edwards car but Leon Hamzat Shemaev is so according to him he's retired but according to Dana he's not 